What even is a resist? I don't know. Who calcs for resistances these days when you have item? Terra Electric, Electro Drift in terrain. No resistance will save you. Yo, what's going on? It's working with my the channel. Today, back with another Regulation G video. So, last weekend, the Indie Regionals has concluded and restricted that one is not actually Calyrex Shadow Rider nor Calyrex Ice Rider. It's actually Maridon. Like, Maridon took the tournament by storm, but doing so much damage with Choice Specs, Terra Electric, um, Electro Drift, Discharge, and also Volt Switch. Um, it was doing so, so well um, this weekend. I wanted to try out the team for itself. So, without further ado, let's get into the team. Oh, if you guys do like this type of content and want to see more, uh, please do leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button to don't miss any more Regulation G content in the future. All right, so this is the team that actually won um, the uh, Indie Originals. Um, it is a Choice Specs Moridon, Volt Switch, um, Electro Drift, Discharge, Draco Meteor, um, with Whimsicott as the premier Tailwind setter, um, with Moonblast, Tailwind, Encore, and Protect, with the Terra Ghost, and the Focus Sash, being able to take um, one hit uh, from any Pokemon. Um, I just always being a very destructive Pokemon, especially with Encore, um, Tailwind. Um, you can Encore people into Trick Room, you can Encore people into Protect, and you can Encore people into Fake Out. You can do a lot of things, which is um, really, really good. Uh, I think it's quite a, a underrated Pokemon, I'd say, in the meta. Um, next up, we have Fregarath, just a standard priority stopper with Armor Tail. Um, this Fregarath actually does have Electric Seed on it, uh, which uh, does boost his defense in the Electric Terrain from the right on, which is very, very nice, especially against uh, all the physical attackers. You know, doing Rillaboom, Coridon, Incineroar, etc. Uh, you have Terra Ground, Terra Blast, you have Foul Play, um, Trick Room, and Helmic Hand. Just to boost the damage of Maridon, even Ursaluna, uh, or even Ogre Pond, etc. You can really do a lot of damage uh, with Helping Hand. Um, if you have Terra Ground, Terra Blast to hit the uh, Cinnaroar, etc. And Foul Play just to do good damage to Calyrex, um, Ice Rider. Um, and Silver Road is being a very, very supportive Pokemon, which is very nice. Um, next up, we have Ursaluna Blood Moon uh, with the Terra Normal, the Life Orb, and with Hyper Voice, uh, Blood Moon, Earth Power, and Protect. Um, this Ursula Luna is really, really fast, um, it's timid nature, um, so just max max, just go as fast as possible to do as much damage, um, so you don't really have too much bulk um, to work with. I mean, its defense is really good, its special defense is uh, very lacking, but you're able to kill the enemies before they're able to kill you in Tailwind. Um, so we have Ogre Pond Cornerstone um, with the Sturdy, so you pretty much have like two Focus Sash uh, Pokemon on this team with Sturdy, since you can't get one AKO'd, which is very, very nice. Um, you have Ivy Cudgel, Power Whip, um, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. I'm um, just a very consistent damage. A power up, of course, can miss at times, but it's nice to be able to have the option to not take any recall and be able to win a kill or Shifu's. Um, and last but not least, we have Incineroar, um, the Assault Vest, um, with Terror Ghost, uh, Fake Out, U Turn, Flare Blitz, and Knock. Quite standard set for Assault Vest and Incineroar. Of course, you could consider Snarl, but I think Knock Off is quite good in this meta, where you can knock off all the items off like Calyrex, uh, so knock off a Choice Specs of Opposing Moridon. You have to do a lot with this, this in So, yeah, without further ado, um, let's get into some battles. So, I just have a question for, for you all. Um, comment what your favorite restricted is um, in Regulation G so far. I think for me, uh, I'm kind of indecisive on what restricteds um, I like the most. I'd probably say my favorite restricted right now it probably is Maridon. Uh, it's just... I mean, Maridon's always been, like, quite a cool Pokemon to, like, be able to use. Uh, we, we can actually use it now. Um, in Regulation G, which is nice, but it's also really, really nice to use in raids, etc. Um, we're actually facing, um, I think just Justin Burns team, um, I believe. Um, with the Urshifu, um, Calyrex, uh, Raging Bolts, Pelipper, Mungus, and Cinnamore. So, uh, let's go and leave Maridon plus uh, Whimsicott here, and have Ferrigarath. Actually, I don't know if I want Ursula. I'm gonna have Ferrigarath in the back. Um... I was just debating on who I wanted as the last Pokemon, because like all these three could come to the, the matchup in theory. I think Ogre Pond probably is uh, going to be the one I do end up picking here, uh, because having a resistance to Raging Bolts of Thunderbolts is very nice, um, as well as just doing good damage to Pelipper and to Calyrex, etc. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with Ogre Pond, the last one. All right, here we go. It's going to be the Calyrex and the Pelipper. 
for my opponent. Okay. Very interesting lead here by my opponent, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, Rhino is going to get the engine here. I'm not really sure who I'm going to target. I'm probably just going to go for the um, for the Calyrex here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just Terra Electric Volt Switch and then click Boom Blast into the... Uh, or I could actually just Electro Drift straight up. Yeah, I'm going to Electro Drift and then click Boom Blast into the Calyrex here. Just much damage to the Cal on turn one. And he goes for Wide Guard. Oh, <laughs> this Calyrex is going to be gone. Ladies and gentlemen, Electro Drift in the terrain against the Calyrex. In Terra Electric, one hit KO. See you later. Oh man, that's so satisfying getting that knockout, one hit knockout. And we get the Moon Blast off as well, doing all, over 50% and get the special tag drop as well. Wow, this cannot be a better turn one, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's see who's going to come in here. It's going to be the Amoongus. Well, Amoongus in Electric Terrain isn't really going to do too much, so we're going to Electro Drift that and uh, Moon Blast. So, battle is cancelled. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Turn one, cancel. We'll take that. Well, we'll see you guys in the next game, I guess. All right, so we've got the next game here. <laughs> We're actually facing an exact mirror match. Okay. Um, How would you approach the mirror match? I mean, it's going to come down to just speed ties, I guess. It's going to come down to whoever gets the, the speed tie, I guess. That's like probably what it's going to come down to. Um, well, it's good to know, I guess, how to play against the mirror match. Um, I think I probably want to bring Ursaluna, because it's a good answer into Maraidon. Um, especially if, you, if it locks into an electric move, and uh, then Ursaluna is just going to do amazing. Um, and I'm probably just going to go with Ogre Palm. Uh, uh, should I go for Rigoraf? Do I stop Fake Out? I think I might just go for Rigoraf, so I stop Fake Out. Ah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I think I might just do this. I don't even know how to play the mirror match. I mean, this is my, this is my second game ever playing with this team. Uh, I played like a game before, like before this, um, but uh, like before like we started recording and to get a victory. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to play the mirror. We're just going to figure out it today. We're just going to figure out it together how we're going to play the mirror because people are probably going to start playing this team a little bit more. So being able to figure out how to be the mirror is always, um, it's always will be a, a good, uh, nice indication of uh, you know how to how to play etc and uh, yeah we'll see all right so we got Moridon and Ogre Pond actually coming out from my opponents very interesting very very interesting okay um so we could just lock at the Draco Meteor immediately and just or just click Volt. I might just click Terra Electric Volt Switch. Um, I need to check the speed on Whimsicott. Uh, 184. 87. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch and Moonblast the Ogre Pond here. Because then we can just take it out in one turn, which I think that'll be really valuable for us. There's so much damage. I'm gonna switch out here. I might, I might just go into Furograph here because um, he might just Draco Meteor me immediately. And if we get a minus two, and I think Furograph might even whip that. Um, but we'll see. So we get the Electric Seed boost, and if we can take out the Ogre Pond as well, that's another teammate less. And it's gonna be Volt Switch. Okay, so he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna Volt Switch out of here. But we do get a nice uh, KO on the Ogre Pond, which is gonna be. Yeah. So we could just Draco Meteor turn one to his thing, but it's okay. Let's see what he's gonna bring in here. I'm not really too sure what he's gonna bring out. Could be Incineroar. Oh, it's own Whimsicott, okay. Nice, and the last can take out. I got the Ogre Pond, which is very, very nice. And there we go. Ogre Pond fates. He's gonna bring out his own Ursaluna, okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. We have our also host our own Ursaluna. Um I think here I'm just gonna go and just try and 
break the sash on Whimsicott here. And I'm going to go ahead and just click Protect with Whimsicott so I preserve a turn of Tailwind. And I don't faint to uh, like Blood Moon. So yeah, he's going to lock the Tailwind. We also get Encore on the Tailwind, but then we do get Tailwind up. So I don't think that's really worth it. So yeah, he's going to go for Hyper Voice. It's fine. Yeah, we don't really take too much damage, and he's going to take life with Rico, which is very, very nice. Yeah, Terror Blast. Do a good ship at the Whimsicott. And I think here, I'm probably just going to go and just click Terror Blast into the Ursaluna. And then just click Tailwind as well. It also could have clicked Trick Room, but I think he's probably just going to kill Hyo with Free Graph anyways. Um, oh, let's see. He's actually going to protect, okay. Well, that means we get him right on on the field for free, which is quite nice. This is quite nice. And he goes for Hyper Voice. Yeah. Perfect. We do love that. Very nice. And now, Ursula's taken two chips of uh, FO Recoil, which is uh, very, very nice. So we can go for our Ursula. And let's go for Helping Hand plus. I should a lot of damage. We can go for Helping Hand plus. Uh, her voice so that we can go and just KO. Um, yeah, let's just go for helping hand and hyper voice here. Oh, we also got crit. If I go, if I lose a speed tie here and a special attack drop, okay, we do win. Okay, that could have been scary, but I think now we have the game it's pretty much sealed up. Uh, because he has to lock into Draco Meteor. Because if he doesn't, he cannot hit my um, Ursaluna. So he has to lock into uh, a Draco Meteor. Um, that only hits one of the targets, so... We should be able to see this up quite nicely. And yeah, now we just pretty much just click uh, Terror Blast. And protect. See what he wants to lock into. And yeah, pass the cancel. Perfect. Very nice. We played the mirror quite well, I'd say. I think we brought the right Pokemon to that mirror. Uh, being able to outspeed the Ogre Pond with car is very, very nice. I'm able to click just like Volt Switch Moon Blast and just KO'd immediately. Um, which was very, very nice. And um, yeah, well, I guess we'll do one more game. See you guys then. Alrighty, we are final match here against Jumpman23. Okay. Um, This looks like a very, very interesting team. Uh, to, to, to very, I don't know what this is. Um, okay. So he has a lot of mons that are weak to Ogre Palm. So I might just lead Ogre Palm plus this and then go with Maraida on the back. And I guess go for um, Incineroar. All right, it's going to be Typhlosion and Crydon. All right, that's what we like to see. The Ogre Pawn is going to have a great time here. We can even just Moonblast, uh, like on turn. We could just do this. Because we have Focus Sash on both Pokemon. Okay, this is, I'm just going to Tailwind and I need to roll this. Um, but yeah, this looks like a very good time uh, for the Crying, for the Whimsicott at least. All right, it's going to be the Terrestrialization on turn one from my opponent's side. Let's see what he's going to terrestrialize here. It's going to be that Typhlosion, which makes sense. Um, it's going to be a Terra Grass. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to protect with Karaidon or if he's just going to double attack. Uh, it's going to like it's going to be probably double attacking. Um, let's see. Yeah, I need Cudrill. It's going to do a little bit of damage into Typhlosion. Oh, never mind. We just crit and immediately kill. All right. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Typhlosion, I guess instantly deleted and heat crash onto the whimsicott he won't take it out because of the focus sash and now we can just moon blast and uh, yeah karina will be history will be history and we can go back to the past where it came from uh let's see gonna be serena coming in here all right very nice uh i'm gonna go just uh moon blast and switch into the cinnamon just do a nice little Intimidates, and then there's Flare Blitz, and yeah, we can just have a good time. 
because well, that Coridon is not gonna have a great time against Wooden Skull. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> uh, Moonblast is gonna hurt four times effective. Ooh, that's that's tough. That's tough. Let's see if he has a clear outlet onto the uh, on the Coridon as well. Let's see. Serena. And yeah, he does have clear amulets, makes sense. And yeah, it does go for the protect. Okay. So good play. Good play, good play. Uh, yeah, Moonblast does fail. Into the protect. Uh, let's see if he went for the, the Whimsicott. Let's see. He didn't win for Whimsicott. Good play. Good play, good play. Um, but now we're gonna go right on. And um you know. I don't know if this uh this Coridon's gonna be able to survive a uh, Terra Electric. <laughs> I could also just full switch, but let's see. Uh, let's just Electro Drift and uh, click U turn onto the Serena here. We're gonna okay, click Flare Blitz, but I'm just gonna U turn out. Let's go back into Ogre Pond and just do damage. <laughs> Serena switches out. Okay, so I'm kind of glad we did a U-turn. Uh, it's gonna be the Bax Caliber. Okay. Very nice switch from us. So do not give it a thermal exchange. All right, here we go. Electro drift into the Coridon. Let's see how much this does. <laughs> It is a okay critical hit. <laughs> oh my god! Critical hit. U turn coming out here onto the max caliber, doing a nice little bit of chip, and um, yeah, <laughs> holy moly! Like I don't know if that crit really mattered. Uh, I could do a calc. I'm gonna do a calc after this. See if uh, choice specs uh, if that was a, a roll or not, or it was it was not. I don't know, but it was a crit, so. We'll never know. It. Serena's gonna come back in. Uh, yeah, I mean, this game is pretty much. We're just gonna go and just click Electro Drift to Serena and Tower of Control into Backscale Earth. <laughs> All right, here we go. Electro Drift in the terrain into the Serena. Gets the one hit knockout. Goodbye. What even is a resist? I don't know. Who calcs for resistances these days when you have I don't. Alright, see if we can get pit a third knockout with Maridon. Oh, here we go. Third knockout from Maridon. Terra Electric, Electro Drift in terrain. No resistance will save you. Alright, well, that's the last game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, using this Choice Specs Maridon team. Really, really fun. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this content, please like the video. Comment down below what your favorite restrictor is once again in Relic Shinji. Like um, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more BGC content.